Hello, you juicy little jelly babies. It's me, Jim Sterling, your old friend, here and lovely, with words coming out of his mouth that you can shovel into your ears like worms in a jar. I don't know what you would shovel worms into. I did see a video once, uh, it was linked to me, where uh, someone was shoveling worms into their ass. And you saw the whole thing, like the winking squirter was just there, greedily gobbling up these poor earthworms, didn't know what the fuck they were doing, or what was going on. It's a very uh, upsetting time to be a worm in today's modern fucked up world. But anyway, it's time for the State of Sterling, this is where I just uh, chat about what's going on with stuff, so that you know. As I chat, it's Sunday morning, just finished up the main edit for the Jimquisition to put that up tomorrow morning for everybody to enjoy all lovely it up. And I guess we'll talk about the important thing at the moment, especially because previous Jimquisitions talked about the merchandise, and that's that our merchandise is currently unavailable, so sorry about that. <laughs> There is a good reason for that, and that's because the merchandise had started to be quite disappointing. Uh, we were using Shark Robot, and you know, I don't want to slag them off too much. I was always uh, enjoying their work, I always liked their stuff, but uh, we've had a couple of things come in and the quality's just not been all that good. Uh, we had a couple of complaints before, and I was hoping they were just isolated cases, but Justin, uh, my art director, uh, got a couple of shirts in and I mean one of them my, my jaw hit the floor uh, crooked all the colors were wrong uh, off center it was just everything that could be wrong about the design was wrong about the design so I don't know what that issue was or why that happened or why it's happened more than once but I couldn't rightly put my name to that you know I, I was not happy with it so we've terminated our partnership with Shark Robot and we're handling stuff on our end now. Uh, Justin is very gung-ho about this, he's uh, very into the merch and both of us kind of a uh, little bit tired of relying on third parties for a lot of our stuff. Uh, we've been let down almost universally when it comes to stuff done that isn't done in-house by us two. I still need to go over the fine details with Justin and work out uh, exactly th what the logistics are in handling the merch but hopefully we have news on that very soon. We're keen to get that up and running. Uh, we can use all of our old designs and Justin's working on several new designs and new types of merch as well that we couldn't do through Shark Robot. So that should be an exciting opportunity to buy some shit and tat for you all to enjoy and wear and have about the house cluttering things up. Now, YouTube news, if you follow me on Twitter or you listen to the Podquisition podcast, then you'll know that myself and several other people who upload their videos, their work to YouTube, are being quite royally fucked by YouTube itself. YouTube is uh, seemingly quite obsessed with burying as many channels as it can, since it, like many media companies, want to put all of their eggs in fewer baskets and rely only on the super tippy-top, super successful people, and they'd rather have five very successful channels than a thousand moderately successful channels. This past Monday, more than ever, I received complaints about the video, the Jimquisition, not showing up in people's subscription feeds, even if they're subscribed, even if they've clicked the fucking little bell icon, because you got to click things twice now. And there's not a lot of recourse the uploaders themselves have, so all we can really do is encourage the viewers, if they liked it, to uh, circulate the tapes like it was the VHS era, and share the videos themselves on their social media or what have you and doing that this week I pushed a bit more than usual I don't like constantly pushing my work on Twitter I find it a bit obnoxious but unfortunately you've got to be a bit obnoxious now so I encourage people to share the videos and that did make up uh, quite a bit of the lost ground that we had as a result of YouTube's fuckery so thank you very much for that and thank you for being patient if you are being patient about me pushing these videos harder. But that's the reality of it, you've got to hustle more than ever because YouTube not only won't help you, it will try and bury you, so there we are. Pretty shitty of YouTube, but we are making do. We're trying to find a positive way forward to keep the videos ticking along nicely without just throwing our hands up in the air and giving up and complaining about it. You know, we will still complain about it, of course, that's what we do here, but we will try and fix it on our end as much as we can. And as I say, we're seeing some positive moves there. 
just yesterday, Red Letter Media had a video of theirs taken down for deceptive practices. That's a new one on me. It's like YouTube is finding ways to innovate in the field of finding shitty excuses to take videos down for no reason. If they took those resources and the energy they're putting into that and actually put it into improving YouTube as a platform, it'd be the best media platform we've ever fucking seen. Speaking of platforms and disappointing platforms, uh, many of you will remember, I forget when now, it was quite some time ago I shut down my Ask FM account, predominantly due to some incredibly creepy stalkers and harassers who were just being beyond weird, like potentially dangerously weird, and Ask FM did fuck all about it. We were looking into alternatives, but we've had so many other projects to do and so much stuff to get done and so many other companies to basically replace that we haven't got around to it and I don't know when or if we will but I did think of one thing and that's the Patreon page the Patreon page has a community section it's like you click along and you'll see the overview and some other thing and the community tab if you click on the community tab then if you're a patron uh, I, I assume you know you've got a patron account and what have you you can basically post whatever you want there and people have used that to send me links to interesting stories is, or ask me a question and I figured that's a good thing to do that's a good stop gap I feel a bit bad anyway because even though one of the appeals of my patreon page is that there are no tiers and gatekeeping of content I don't really interact directly with patrons or do anything to uh, sort of give them uh, an extra little added bonus so I feel a bit bad about that but I don't want to gatekeep content so I feel a nice middle ground would be just use that community tab it's there feel free to ask stuff and the other bonus of that is if you care enough to be a patron if you care enough to have a patreon account you're probably not gonna be a weird little dick and ask silly questions or threaten to murder my dog so so that would be good and patreon uh, is a bit better moderated than something like ask fm so I feel like that's a good as I say a good middle ground and as was true when I had the ask fm I'm pretty open like a book that's been opened I should have said like an open book, but I didn't. I did a roundabout way of saying what I could have said, in, and now I'm just analysing it too much. But the point is, very few questions are off limits for me, you know, so long as you don't want to be an insulting fucking prick about it, then it's generally all good. Another thing I wanted to talk about was Gympressions, which is that series I do where I give my casual thoughts on games. Although that got a bit less casual, what I've ended up doing over the past few weeks is make videos that are halfway between more casual discussions and reviews. I don't know why I started doing it, but I do like the direction it's gone in. You may notice that the uh, the Gympression series has gone from being more stream of conscious to tighter, more edited criticisms with a little bit more visual sprucing here and there. This seems to be a habit of mine where I make a move to make things a little bit easier, a bit less work for me, and then end up just slowly putting more and more work into it until I'm just doing work again, which ain't so great for my free time, but is good for you, the viewer. Anyway, I hope you like where the impressions are at right now. I quite like them. They're this nice middle ground, which is apparently the watchword of the day between reviews and first impressions. We'll close out with the bit that some of the audience finds disposable. So if you don't want to hear about the wrestling stuff I've been doing, then you can end the video right here. No hard feelings. But if you are interested, Stardust Next appears at the Jackson Hideaway on August 18th. And if all goes well, Stardust will have another match, an actual in-ring performance on at some time in September. Don't have the dates quite yet. And I must emphasise that again that the wrestling has stopped being a joke. It started as a joke, clearly, but we're now at the point where we're looking beyond Stardust. Since wrestler parodies, gimmick infringement, that sort of thing doesn't have much longevity, and we're looking at a bit more longevity than a joke now. Let's just say for right now. I'm looking into getting some more spandex. I also should be working on a wrestling show soon, but I agree with many people uh, when I would say that it's not a good fit for the channel I have right now, the Jim Sterling channel. And I've been in talks with uh, some companies to do some work for them, just a little bit of extra moonlighting stuff. So I might have a wrestling show off channel and I'll let you know where you can check that out if all goes well there. So, you know, more content. And if you don't like the wrestling, it won't clog up your feed here, so it'll be fine. Again, middle ground, compromise, win-win. And that'll do for right now. 
Uh, that's just some recent stuff that's going on, and we'll be back next time with one of these whenever i got some more stuff to say. Until then, Jimquisition's out tomorrow, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later. Bye! I saw someone sling an octopus up themselves once too.